Hey, what's up? It's your tech bro Charlie here and welcome back to where we take awesome out of the box. Now today we've got a huge unboxing. In fact, we have two boxes to look at. That's because we're going to be taking a look at the Porsche Design Acerbook RS. While we've seen ultra premium smartphones over the last couple of years, it's been quite a while since we've seen an ultra premium laptop. And Acer is bringing back the concept with their partnership with Porsche Design. With the fitting name of Porsche Design Acer Book RS, join me as we unbox it and give our first impressions. At least for first looks, just how Porsche did they make it? We got two huge boxes which I had a bit of a hard time carrying to my lair in the attic. Both have more or less the same minimalistic black box with the Porsche design and Acer logos. First, let's take a look at the smaller and lighter of the two boxes. But it is still pretty heavy, so my wrist is dying. The branding here is slightly more subtle with a glossy finish. It's pretty easy to open with some magnets to lock it up. The first thing you see is a Porsche design card which you can take off and put in your wallet if you want to. Collaborations like this are all about branding after all. Inside, we have a premium leather carrying bag for the mouse and other accessories. And of course, we have the Porsche design branding slapped on it. Easy enough to fit your smartphone, the laptop charger together with the special edition mouse. You get microfiber leather inside to make sure your gadgets are extra safe from scratches. Next up, we have the Porsche design Acer RS mouse. I just love the design. It looks really smooth and sleek just like any luxury car should. The left mouse button looks like a gas pedal without being too gimmicky or in your face about it. The right mouse button is extremely minimalistic and meshes into the mouse seamlessly which balances out the design. For the mouse scroll wheel, we have it in a nice metal instead of plastic which will definitely last longer without tarnishing over time. It's all about the details. On my hand, I gotta say, it'll take some getting used to. It's just that I've grown accustomed to ergonomic rounder mice. The boxy edges sort of dig into your palms, which might bother you for the first times you use it. I'm happy to say that it's a little bit more quiet than the regular mouse, and it's also very clicky and responsive. It also comes with its own set of papers. And of course, we got the Porsche design logo debossed into the design. And below this set of accessories, there's another compartment for two more. First off, we got a pure leather mouse pad, which works and matches extremely well with the mouse. Of course, again, in pure leather. You also get an expandable laptop sleeve for carrying around your ultra premium notebook. And to complete it, the sleeve magnets stick the mouse pad to the top lip to work as a cover for the sleeve. This was honestly really cool and smart, so kudos to Porsche Design. And just in case you miss out on the chance of figuring this out on your own, you know, like I did at first, they even included a sheet of inclusions and instructions which is every bit of on-brand it can be. And time for the main event. We're opening up the bigger box now. And it's kind of shaking because it's really, really heavy. This one has a white Porsche design branding instead of the glossy black on the other. Straight up, this one reminded me of a shoebox because of the placement of the sticker on the side where you'd normally see the sizing on a shoebox. I don't really know if this is what they were going for, but I'm a sneakerhead, so I guess it was pretty cool. We get the same calling card inside and generally the same unboxing experience with the magnets. We have a protective foam sheet before we see the laptop, but we'll skip the notebook for now and see what else is inside. We have two things we can check out in here a small box and a compartment. But taking out that small box reveals yet another compartment. In the box, we have the usual documentation and a warranty passport. You know, the usual stuff for ultra premium notebooks. In the compartments, we get not one, but two charging options for the Porsche Design Acer Book RS. One is the usual power socket type charger, and the other is a USB-C charger. You're probably wondering why we got two chargers. Well, not everyone wants to use the USB-C port for charging. They might want to use it for a data transfer or the many other features that USB-C or Thunderbolt 4 has to offer. If that's the case, you'd want to carry around the standard plug. Finally, we get to the Porsche Design Acer Book RS. And right off the bat, this thing looks gorgeous. Skinned up, just like the mouse with branding in all the right places. 
we get a carbon fiber face panel which we never or very rarely see on laptops out of the box. I mean you can probably get a carbon fiber skin online for your smartphone or your laptop but to get it straight out of the box like no third party anything, it's a total win. The silver they used on the finish also has a slight glimmer or sparkle. And of course, I love the fact that neither finishes catch smudges or fingerprints easily. Guys, 10 out of 10! Just messing. For the ports on the left, we get the charging port, HDMI, USB 3.2 Gen 2, and Thunderbolt 4. Like I mentioned earlier, you can use the Thunderbolt port for charging as well. On the right, we have LED indicators for power and charging, another USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, and a 3.5mm jack port as well. And on top of that, you get dual band Wi-Fi 6 for stable and fast connection. Opening up the screen, we get a lift hinge that helps angle the notebook in a way that it's easier to type and use. We get a nice dark gray for the keyboard, which is a good contrast against the silver of the body. In case you're wondering, they're also backlit. The typing experience was pretty okay, and the keys felt softer and seemed more quiet than the usual chiclet type keyboard. On the touchpad, we get a fingerprint scanner for that extra security. Again, this is an ultra premium notebook, so of course you'd want every ounce of protection you can get. I also tried out the speakers, but they weren't especially loud for me. And it might not be an accurate depiction since we're using a microphone, but here's a sample. And it's also a cover me and Bird did together, so I hope you dig it. As for the screen, we have a 14-inch touchscreen IPS display. This covers 100% of the sRGB color gamut. Plus, we even have antimicrobial Gorilla Glass. The virus is still out there, and of course we want to be as safe as possible just as much as we don't want any viruses getting into the notebook. Picture quality was nice, vibrant, and sharp, and I enjoyed watching a couple of shows and videos on the screen, just like the ones I'm showing right now. So there you have it, my unboxing and first impressions of the Porsche Design Acer Book RS. We'll go more in depth in our full review, complete with benchmarks, battery, and performance tests. But what do you guys think of this ultra premium notebook? Did it give the Porsche name justice? Tell me in the comments section below. Let's talk. Watch out for the full review dropping on Unbox.ph. We have articles there on many other gadgets as well. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's right, subscribe because when we hit 250,000 subs, we're going to be giving away a smartphone. So watch out for that. Don't forget to hit the notification icon if you want to get them updates when we drop them videos. Once again, it's your tech bro Cholo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.